Is there any way a person can be infected and remain without any symptoms at all that is permanently asymptomatic? You know, that's a great question. And early in this epidemic, and there's still a major question about this, how much of this epidemic is actually being driven by the, quote, super spreader. The super spreader, is, it's not unusual in terms of managing epidemics and pandemics. You ever hear the term typhoid Mary? Typhoid Mary was a lady that was a domestic servant. She was taking care of kids and, and making food for families in New York when the typhoid epidemic was going through. And it turned out that she never had symptoms, but she was spreading the disease to the family members that she was working with. So this asymptomatic spreader is a big, big deal of a lot of different infectious diseases. Now, there's been a lot of evidence that that's been a, a big deal for this COVID pandemic. But here's the thing. You go back and you look at experience like you see in China right now, and it just doesn't fit. I mean, so one of the first things you say is, well, was China, are they not sharing data? Well, that obviously wouldn't be the first time. But if China were having a huge resurgence of the epidemic, and or if they weren't really gearing their economy back up, they wouldn't be able to hide either one of those. I mean, those are just too big of things to hide. So it does appear that they're beginning to gear their economy back up. In other words, getting people back into the economy without significant spread of this disease. Now, why did I go down that bunny hole? It gets back to Joseph Page's question. If most of this disease were being transmitted by people that have no symptoms, how could China be opening back up without significant reinfection, re-epidemic, I mean, re-gearing of the epidemic. So very, very interesting. Why wait for a disease and hope for a cure? I used to be an ER doc. My name is Ford Brewer. I quit ER after a few years because it was just so frustrating. Most of the things bringing people into the ER are things that should have been prevented, including heart attack, stroke, number one cause of death, number one cause of permanent disability. People think that you're just going to have those and that they're not predictable. Both of those are wrong. You, they are predictable and you don't have to have them. Usually it's lifestyle. Lifestyle is more important than supplements and even prescription drugs and even stents and surgery. But the current times are tough. Major financial impact with the lockdowns that most states have been going through. We've been working on a way to make this much more affordable with a subscription process. And that's exactly what we're announcing today. We've got two levels. One is the silver membership where you get access to our courses, a private webinar each month, and access to our supplement store and supplement recommendations and prescription. Or I would suggest even more so the gold membership. You can get a script for a Freestyle Libre and find out what your blood sugar metabolism is doing on a daily basis. And you can get a lab order for inflammation, OGTT, and insulin survey. You can also get a 30-minute one-on-one with me. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Cost is no longer an excuse. So if you're interested, go to go.prevmedheartrest.com slash prevmed dash subscription or call us at 859-721-1414, 859-721-1414 or email us at myhealth at prevmedheartrest.com. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you.